how good is Keenan Yield is. After being considered one of football's most exciting prospects since his young age, Yildiz has now started to make his way into Juventus and Turkey's first teams, and it looks like it's going to be all the way up for him. We've been studying him for the past weeks to find out how good he actually is, and what we found out is mind-blowing. Yildiz was born and grew up in Germany, but he decided to represent Turkey, the country of his parents. He started to play football when he was only three, and after a few years his talent was finally noticed, when German giants of Bayern Munich decided to sign Yildiz for the academy when he was just seven years old, and from then he only gained more notoriety. Proof of that? Think of these two German cities, Regensburg and Herzogenauha. You probably never heard about them, and I guess you're probably thinking right now, what the hell does that have to do with Yildiz? Well, Regensburg is Yildiz's hometown, while Herzogenauha is the home of Adidas, the iconic sportswear brand. These two cities are around 100 kilometers apart. Adidas noticed Yildiz. They were excited to sign him for their brand. So what did they end up doing? They had a quick trip to Regensburg to complete their mission. They knew how high the competition would have been in the future, so they decided to sign Yildiz when he was only 10 years old. And obviously, it turned out to be a great decision, because after a few years, Yildiz became one of the best players of Bayern Munich's youth team. Together with other promising 2005-born teammates, Paul Warner and Arian Ibrahimovic. And at that point, many brands were looking to sign him. But Adidas anticipated everyone and jumped the queue by signing him when he was still just a kid. Signing a deal with a brand of this magnitude at only 10 years old isn't something for everyone. That's why Yildiz was always considered an elite talent. In Bayern Munich's under-17 and under-19 teams, Yildiz scored six goals and got eight assists in 17 games. Yildiz established himself as playmaking number 10, which is a position that is slowly fading away in football. Being a playmaking number 10 requires you to have excellent skills, technique, dribbling, vision, creativity, and so on. Football is becoming more tactical though, and technique is slowly becoming more neglected. Why the number 10s in football are fading away is a very deep topic that requires another video, just for it to be talked about. Let us know in the comments if you want to hear more about it. Going back to Yildiz, as we said, the number 10s are slowly fading away, and him performing amazing in such a complicated position just goes to prove how much of a talented player he is. When Yildiz was in Germany, they used to compare him to Mesut Ozil for these two analogies, his playstyle and his Turkish origins. Something happened in 2022 though. Yildiz didn't want to sign a professional contract with Bayern Munich, the fact that our paths have separated is due to financial factors. This was stated by Johann Zauer, the academy manager following Yildiz's departure. Some people don't believe this though, and made some very strong accusations. Apparently some coaches were being racist towards him. This undeniably makes us think about Ozil's famous quote, I'm German when we win and an immigrant when we lose. Obviously, these strong accusations need to be taken with a pinch of salt, as they've never been confirmed and no one knows if they're actually true. Another reason might be that Yildiz got promoted to the under-19 teams for Bayern when he was just 16. But he wasn't sure his spot in the team was guaranteed. Given the fact that he's very ambitious, he decided to leave. As soon as the news of Yildiz leaving Bayern broke out, all of Europe's top clubs started looking to sign him. From Premier League's elite ones like Arsenal to Spanish giants Barcelona, who were leading the race. And because of that, it looked like Yildiz was going to sign with Blaugranas. But at the very final moment, Juventus hijacked the deal and signed the Turkish wonder kid in July 2022. Juventus made it clear that he had a spot in the under-19 team, which is exactly what Yildiz was looking for. After putting up more amazing performances, Yildiz had the chance to play for Juventus' under-23 team. That competes in Serie C, Italy's third division. With season 2023-2024 starting, Yildiz was promoted to the first team and made his debut on the first Series A game versus Udinese. After the game, manager Massimiliano Allegri praised him with a funny statement. He's got to cut his hair tomorrow because he touched it about a hundred times. Aside from that, he's a lad with a lot of quality. Yildiz didn't hesitate to listen to his coach, and he quickly got a new haircut. Allegri went back to this episode in Juve's documentary, The Best Is Yet To Come released at the start of December. He said, I was pleased with the haircut because it shows he's intelligent and listens to advice. Yildiz also played first team at an international level, 
making his debut with Turkey against Croatia on October 12th of 2023, and after about a month, scoring his first goal on his first start with Turkey. And he did it against one of the most successful national teams ever, Germany. Look at how smooth that finish was. Obviously, Yildiz's performance didn't go unnoticed for Max Allegri. And so, Yildiz had his first start with Juventus in the game against Frasinone. And guess what happened? He scored after only 12 minutes. And it wasn't a normal goal, just look at it. The way he gets past three defenders with a simple ball touch and then proceeds to have a perfect shot isn't something you would expect from an 18-year-old footballer. After scoring, Yildiz almost emulated Juventus icon Alessandro Del Piero's celebration. Yildiz is quickly becoming a fan favorite for Juventus supporters. As we stated in our Instagram post about him, and by the way, we recommend you follow us for daily football content. Check the link in description. Yildiz's playstyle is comparable to one of the legends of Juventus's recent era, Paolo Dybala. Yildiz has always developed into becoming a better finisher, transitioning from being a playmaking number 10 to what we can consider a false nine, just like Dybala. Excellent technique and dribbling combined with creativity makes Yildiz an unpredictable threat for opponents. It's rare to find players like him these days, with the football world being all about tactics now. These kind of players have the power to revolutionize a game when you expect it in the least. Unlike Dybala though, Yildiz is certainly bigger physically, but yet he combines excellent pace, agility, footwork, and coordination, which isn't easy to do at that size. Yildiz always looks for the vertical options in his passings, and he's able to put his teammates in goal-scoring situations. He's also fine with playing with his weaker foot, making him even more unpredictable. His close control is excellent, and it's hard to get the ball off him. So going back to the main question, is Keenan Yildiz actually that good? He definitely is. He's got all the qualities and the talent needed to become one of the football all-time greats. Now it's all about making all the opportunities with Juventus he gets count. It's going to be nice to keep an eye on him and see how he's going to perform for the rest of the season. What do you expect from him? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to have a look at other videos we made for your football culture.